as you leave the time period you call your year of 2018 and move into a new section of time that you call 2019. The collective consciousness that is you, humanity, creates for itself a birth moment, a new beginning, a fresh start. Yet due to the understanding and awareness of the awakened ones, the star seeds, the truthers, the ones who walk the path of the seeker, then this creates an upgrade with every birth moment, new beginning or fresh start. Therefore, your movement into 2019 is an upgrade collectively, if you will. This moment is not perhaps the node point, convergence of timelines, as the solstices and the equinoxes are. Yet it is a moment created en masse, as a ripple across your planet, as you hold the rebirthing consciousness collectively. You thus create for yourselves the portal that marks the passage of time from one state to another. A moment of collective alchemy, shall we say. This brings with it many new experiences, most especially for those who understand how to utilize these portals. Experiences individually and globally, too numerous to present to you in one transmission. What we can say to you is that this is a time of collective creation. Many of you will be asking the question, what will happen in 2019? Yet we would say to you to change the question to a statement, to that of, we can choose what we want to happen in 2019. This change from not knowing and wondering into the knowing of creativity is the collective energy of awakened humanity. And the upgrade to this in 2019 is the awakening of yet more individuals, adding weight and mass to the collective consciousness of aware humanity. Moving into just one section of this collective awakening, this upgrade, this rebirth, we would look at the dream time experience, the landscape of the dream time itself and its extraterrestrial influence, if you will. Dream time landscape, that is the collective consciousness of aware humanity, is very Earth-like predominantly, as you work out the periphery of your reality and experiences through the expanded awareness of the subconscious mind. With awakening comes the landscapes beyond that which you know as Earth. It is most important to keep your two feet on the ground, if you will, and it is most positive for your growth to remain within the Dreamtime boundaries of the Earth reality. Your planet Earth, transitioning and blooming into Gaia, is your life's blood, as it were, and her heartbeat, that which you may know as Schumann resonance, is as the nurturing comfort of the mother's arms to her babe. Yet the cosmic will always call you, for it too is your home. Within the cosmic, and shall we say the celestial, are a myriad of frequencies for you to explore. As the explorer, you step out there into the wider unknown of energy, matter and antimatter. Yet in truth, as you step out there, you are stepping deeper and deeper within. Extraterrestrial dreams, the meeting of extraterrestrial beings, the transportation to other planetary systems beyond Earth, and the living within the Earth-like dream time where the landscape begins to change, is a recurrent dream experience for the collective consciousness that is aware and awakened humanity at this time. In fact, this has been the case for quite some time upon your planet, 
And this ramps up, if you will, and increases in frequency and intensity. Whilst the interpretation of this is that you are becoming a galactic society, a galactic individual, lifting the quarantine that has been placed around your planet Earth and connecting with beings from other races, planets and star systems. There are deeper interpretations to be had from these extraterrestrial dreamtime experiences. For within the aspect of unity, the extraterrestrial beings are as unified with you as your other selves on Earth are. However, before you can put unification with all into practice within your physical existence, one learns about the vastness of others that are other selves. One integrates this vastness. One does this through compartmentalization and the embracing of that which is good, positive and nurturing within separation. For so many of you who strive for unity, who understand and embrace unity, you have forgotten separation. In order to individualize, one must remain separate within unification. Or should we more accurately say, one must remain separate and unified with all simultaneously. You do this by building your divine architecture. You build that which is already there, creating the mirror effect, which is the knowing effect, which you may know as self-similarity. Your fields fold in upon themselves as they know themselves. This is the effect of building your divine architecture and truly standing as the archetypal architect. The architect, builder of archetypes. This aspect of self is known to you also as he or she who walks with archangels. The arc here is most significant. It is the arc spelled here as A-R-C-H within architect, spelled as A-R-K within the vessel that floats upon the waters of the world in your Noah story that is known within your collective consciousness, and spelled A-R-C within the golden arc, which is the equation of creation. As the architect, you are the builder of the divine architecture, which includes the ark upon the seas, waters and oceans of the celestial, known also as the Merkaba, and includes the mathematical ark, the golden mean equation, which is the blueprint of you. Then there is a unification, an understanding that ARC, A-R-C-H, ARC, A-R-K, and ARC, A-R-C, are one and the same. Embrace one, embrace all. Within the steadily growing awareness of the collective consciousness of awakening humanity, the ascending ones, if you will, is the awareness of that which you call Archon, this could also be translated as extraterrestrial. The word Archon simply means ruler or elite within your collective society and indeed beyond. The meaning is derived from original royalty, as in the one who embraced the Ark, as in the mathematical Ark, the one who is the architect. This was divine knowledge taken as magic and hidden from the masses, for both positive and negative reasons, both of which are beyond the scope of this particular transmission. Suffice it to say, the golden arc and the knowledge of the archetypal architect had to be distorted in order to be hidden. Or indeed that was the case from the perspective of those with a negative agenda rather than a positive one. 
the royalty itself was therefore distorted and archon meaning ruler or elite could in truth be translated to mean false king or indeed false queen although the feminine was also removed within the distortion the word archon used amongst the aware, conscious, awakened, ascending community is therefore rightly translated in your now to mean false king or false ruler. These would be those that we refer to as service to self, encompassing negative elite factions, Illuminati, cabal or deep state globalists. The word Archon is upheld through the power of darkness and fear. And by recoiling in fear from the words Archon and royalty, you recoil from your own true aspect. For the origin point within the creation of the word Archon is Ark, the architect, the Ark, that is the Merkaba and the golden arc mathematical equation. Therefore, recoil and reject all tyranny and false rule within the point of awakening and within the integration of unification. Yet uphold the true arc that is your golden architecture of self. Understanding the origin of words and language shall do you much justice here much service. For those who have been through this integration and have arrived at true unification within your earthly physical experience, then you recoil and reject nothing. This includes the false king, tyranny and the false rulers. For you understand the truth that is the law of one and you live this and you uphold it. Within this law, there is nothing to reject. There is nothing to renounce. There is nothing to recoil from. For all is in alignment with all that is you. Unification. Yet your brothers and sisters walk the path you once did tread. And for them, there is separation within the journey that is integration. Your year of 2019 is therefore the year of sovereignty and the reclaiming of the true language, the true origins and meanings of words that have been distorted and hidden for nefarious purposes. There are many hijacked codices to reclaim, and one of them is that of the Ark. For in your recoiling and rejection of the Archon, you also reject the Archangel. Seeing this, the Archangel, as a metaphor for Archon, you would be correct from one perspective, for indeed, there are fallen angels. Yet so too are there beings of light, love, goodness and truth that have such brilliance that cannot be imagined. And these are known as the Archangels. It is time for you, conscious, awakened and awakening humanity, to reclaim your Ark. One of the ways that this shall be done and is being done is the changing landscape within dream time which brings the extraterrestrial into the terrestrial earth-like environmental landscape of dream time and the extraterrestrial beings themselves you are therefore encountering the archangel and the archon if you will decoding the false presentation of the false king false ruler and moving back to true knowing, true self and true royalty as you activate the royal code within. You do this through the true arc, the Merkaba and the mathematical equation that is the golden arc. 
your extraterrestrial dreams in 2019 is part of your integration into sovereignty as you no longer reject and recoil but you reintegrate regain and rejoice as you watch extraterrestrials rebuild your inner terrain that is your inner earth star you do not interpret this as infiltration and takeover but intuit this as the crystallization of that which was carbon we repeat you do not interpret this as infiltration and takeover but intuit this as the crystallization of that which was carbon as the dream time landscape is rebuilt around you and your reaction is horror confusion and fear at these changes your realizations and epiphanies that this is true plasmic crystallization within will bring gratitude and thus unity as you meet the extraterrestrials within dream time with their strange unknown forms you shall learn to see manifestations of frequency and not only shall you be able to tell the archon from the archangel you transform the archon to archangel as you crystallize that which was carbon for all that occurs within dream time occurs within within all that is you you reclaim the power of the ark and you do this as you enter your new year of 2019 you reclaim the power of the Merkaba, the golden equation and you yourself stand as the architect the builder of the ark then you realize that Noah the survivor of the flood the captain of the ship the wanderer the peaceful warrior the true king the true sovereign Noah is you we are the white-winged collective consciousness of nine in this channeled transmission I enter into an expansive transformative and activating exploration of interdimensional dialogue discussing the mechanics of Stargate Ascension this cutting-edge information holds key codes maps and coordinates for the star seeds on earth as they go through this process of DNA reconstruction and regrouping of cosmic memory themselves the significant codex of information is downloaded to the reader as they through this sacred text are called by the dragon Excalibur crystalline light geometry Atlantis and the emerald flame I am so very pleased to present my new book the infinite helix and the emerald flame <laughs>